So what is going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about a lot of new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare information. If you guys go on and enjoy this video and you're logged into a YouTube account, I'd literally ask you guys to spend one second clicking the like button as that would really really help me out and I'm sure there'll be some details in here that you haven't heard about before. Now since the reveal trailer was released a little bit early due to a website leaking the actual trailer, some details that we're supposed to be getting in tie with the worldwide reveal was sort of either not teased properly or were just cancelled as it wouldn't really make sense but one of the tie-ins was going to be Game Informer's exclusive look at Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now their exclusive look has given a little bit more information on the game and I wanted to kind of summarise it and bring it to you guys in case you didn't know already. So Call of Duty Advanced Warfare centres around a private military corporation group called Atlas Corporation which was founded by Jonathan Irons which is the character that Kevin Spacey is playing. Now this Atlas Corporation group Group can act freely without governmental approval and Jonathan Irons built Atlas into the largest private military company in the world. Now the game's main character is called Private Mitchell who is voiced by a actor called Troy Baker and he's voiced many video game characters in the past in games such as The Last of Us. Now Sledgehammer aren't focusing on his backstory too much in this game as they want people to learn about the character through cutscenes in between missions and the missions themselves don't actually contain his voice. Now in the Game Informer exclusive look, two missions were previewed and the beginning of the game revolves around Mitchell being approached by Atlas to leave the military and join them and accepting this offer he's granted an exosuit which is a piece of tech that is heavily influenced throughout the entire game. And what's interesting is in the campaign you can earn points during each mission that can be used to upgrade your suit. Now if you aren't aware then Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will introduce new enhanced player movement abilities. This will give you abilities in the game including boost jumps and grappling, covert cloaking abilities and biomechanics that provide strength, awareness, endurance and speed. Now it's not clear right now if all of these abilities will make their way into multiplayer mode as of now but we can all sort of make assumptions if we, uh, if we want to kind of have a little bit of speculation going on in the comment section. Now they also talk a little bit more about what player abilities will have and this includes crazy stuff such as boost dodging towards cover which is very very crazy to uh, expect or kind of imagine in a Call of Duty game. You can perform super jumps to elevated positions, you can climb buildings with magnetic gloves, you can cloak people with optic camouflage and you can also hover in mid-air. Now with the introduction of the exoskeleton, players have new abilities that fundamentally change the way that we will play Call of Duty. Now the Game Informer magazine has also revealed more details saying that Advanced Warfare will feature some sort of co-op mode but they aren't ready to go into detail about what that mode may be. Now of course Treyarch co-op mode is the very popular zombies mode and Infinity Ward introduced Extinction with Call of Duty Ghosts so it'll be interesting to see what Sledgehammer games will bring to the table. And if you guys want to see my theory on what could be a potential co-op mode I made a video yesterday talking about it and if you guys want to see that I'll leave a link in the description for you guys or an annotation on screen. Judging by how Call of Duty Ghosts revealed their Extinction mode that was very late before release literally like a month or so away where they started giving teasers and then actually revealing it so I'm guessing that with Sledgehammer and Advanced Warfare it may be the same case but who knows. Alright so jumping into the campaign the first mission takes place in San Francisco which remains untouched during a catastrophic attack although the government suspect it to be attacked during Fleet Week. Now a new vehicle is introduced called the Pitbull which aids Mitchell in the pursuit of a suspected terrorist. The chase involves the use of firing energy blast at the suspect's van. The chase eventually leads to the Golden Gate Bridge where the Pitbull crashes and Mitchell uses his exosuit in several instances throughout this mission such as using his leg to kick a door off a vehicle and boosting up onto the roof of a bus and the level ends with the Golden Gate Bridge collapsing. Now the second mission is a much darker themed level. The main part of the level actually takes place within a dark empty school and with nothing but the sounds of wind and dripping water the atmosphere is far more tense than which fans have gotten used to with traditional Call of Duty campaign levels and even the sound of a light bulb smashing was enough to produce a slight jump. Now a main highlight from the Dead Space series was its attention to sound design and that is being focused on in Advanced Warfare in order to produce a dark and eerie environment. 
The team are known for creating moments of great tension, which is one of the many ways that Sledgehammer hope to make unique to their take to the Call of Duty franchise. And there we have it guys, that's all the information I've managed to get so far from the Game Informer website. A lot of the information was brought to me by Charlie Intel. If you want to check out more of the stuff from the articles then it will be on there as well as images from the articles as well. There's a lot of new screenshots which look absolutely awesome and I assure you guys go and click on that and you will not be disappointed. But thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed drop it a like rating and I'll see you very soon.